Today, we're going to talk about the smart routed streak route as a way to get quick yardage against zone coverage in Madden 24. I know this sounds really stupid, but this is something we've talked about before. And I think that people are really sleeping on this, myself included. I was kind of labbing around with this the other day, and I just realized how good this route combo is. Really not even a route combo. And the reason that I say this is that anytime that you're out on the field and you smart route a streak pattern, this is going to allow you to run off the cover coverage to the outside and or inside of this route and this route will turn around at 30 yards downfield give or take five yards it might be 30 to 35 or 25 to 30 just somewhere around that 30 yard mark and this will be a prime candidate for you to throw a low ball free form not even really just a low ball but just a down free form allowing you to click on and turn around and catch this ball now traditionally i think this will be a little bit better from trip side formations because what this will allow you to do is any inside third or inside quarter that you might find in a cover three or a cover four can be run off by the randy moss route while any outside third or outside fourth can be run off by Tyreek Hill. With us smart routing the middle of the two routes, this gives us a similar effect to what we accomplish when we actually use a smart routed fade stop on the other side. Albeit the optics of the routes is that the fade stop is shorter. You'll see that we have the ability to just wait for this route to kind of spot up. As soon as it shows its feet, you're just gonna throw a down pass lead click on and make a catch it's almost like a perfect curl route now the timing of this you'll want to lab this in your offense individually but this is something that you will be able to use quite effectively against a lot of different coverages let me show you guys something that you could do to the short side of the field here out of say a double set but before we do that make sure you guys are following right here on the zamad youtube channel hit that subscribe button the notification bell so you receive push notifications to your mobile device when these videos go live in the morning with our long form content and our shorts in the afternoon and if you guys are looking to get better at madden 24 overnight check out gridirongameplans.gg far and away the best place in the online community to get better at the game focused on what the pros do the meta or the most effective tactics available and the counters so you know why it works and how to beat it when you face people imitating those metas online you guys can unlock everything on the website that's 11 offensive and defensive game plans well over 250 vault tips which i just put out the best yes the best under center rollout defense in the may vault just yesterday so make sure you guys go check that out 9.95 a month unlocks the entire website so let's go ahead and show you guys what we're going to do right here with the twins on the short side of the field this time we are going to make sure that we are attacking a cover three with a post and a streak to the far side of the field on the near side of the field we're going to run off the short side third and we're going to throw our little stop route at 25 yards in the seam so you're going to see a similar effect right here with us being able to kind of step into this throw he's going to show us the numbers you can throw the down pass lead click on and basically we rocket catch this ball at about 25 to 30 yards now this doesn't need to be a focus read of your offense but i think it's really important that you guys understand the value of these smart routed streaks you guys can still utilize these routes as pull routes within your offense so let me go ahead and show you what I mean right here. In this example, I'm going to run a trips to the wide side of the field against, say, a cover three defense. We all know how valuable an outside receiver on a pull route is. And traditionally, we like to throw a corner route inside of it that allows us to, again, use Randy Moss on that super pull route and then kind of throw Tyreek Hill open on the sideline, making this catch. So in this example, we use the long version of the streak. But in the next example, what we're going to do is we are, instead of the long streak, we are going to utilize the smart route version of it but it's not really going to impact the ability for us to still throw these free forms down and outside you see that it still pulls that player deep enough that if we want to rip this throw at the right time we can or take for instance this example where i'm still running the smart routed middle player on this streak for the purpose of keeping a middle third off of tyree kill on this crossing route so we have the ability for the y receiver to pull a middle third kind of a little bit further to the right for us to throw this ball but we also have the ability with this particular combo to still set step up into the pocket and throw this route on its own so you're going to see right here against this cover three shell i'm going to go ahead and run the exact same route combo and you're going to see here that instead maybe i don't like to throw the ball to x i might just wait just a little bit let him spot up and then throw this down pass lead again all you really have to do when you throw this is wait for him to chop his feet and then you throw this even if he drifts up the field just a little bit like you saw in that previous example usually the ball comes out low and if you click on in time you can turn your receiver around and make this catch like a super curl so this is just another little cheeky way of kind of moving the ball um again this is you know not something that you should run all the time but if you're in an end of half end of game scenario and you're looking for chunk yardage in a hurry this is a great way especially against zone to be able to 
give yourself that ability to pick up 30 yards and your opponents aren't really going to know what hit them they're going to think how did you get that curl on the field but again it does really impact your ability to necessarily pull zones deep for the purpose of beating these coverages so once again as you see right here we kind of run this call here you're gonna see that we still have the ability to throw that x route if we wanted to over the top of that hook so again it's all up to you and how you want to run this but anytime you guys are running multiple streaks down the field in a verticals concept maybe consider smart routing them because it's just a great way to avoid ko's altogether i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if you have any questions comments concerns or complaints be sure to drop those below as always want to hear what you guys think of the content here on the zam madden youtube channel Channel. subscribe to my twitch channel below you guys can check me out when i'm live or gridirongameplans.gg i'll yak at y'all tomorrow until then this is Ann. i forgot my outro get in the lab and good luck